Hi guys, and welcome to Designing with an Idiot, DWI. I'm Jessica, and this is my sister Stephanie. Along with our mom, the Lady Monarch, we own and run Harmony Harvest Cup Flower Farm in Weirs Cave, Virginia, where we ship flowers nationwide. Today on DWI, like every other video in our series, we wanted to take a chance and review one of our products in our uh, line that you can find at hhfshop.com and uh, design together, right? Yeah! So today we have a very special guest appearance. This is Mary. Mary, what is your role today? I'm going to be designing with an idiot. But what, and what are you in that? <laughs> an idiot. Good. What am I? <laughs> An idiot. Okay, perfect. And but what, is what your am mom? I? You just. <laughs> what am I? She's a professional designer. He's a professional designer. I'm a professional yeah. designer. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna show you what we would do <laughs> and see, show you that everybody can uh, be a designer with flowers. Today we have our happy box. Woo! These are super fun, um, small, interactive flower projects that we ship. You can find out more about the specific Happy Box under our YouTube video uh, Happy Box playlist. Mary, do you want to dig into this and help us open it up? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you need to get a better uh, higher up on your chair. You can stand on it. We normally don't condone chair standing, but today She's Osha. we're going I'm with it. I'm too short to see. Exactly. You're too short to see. Oh, okay. a cool packet? Well, why don't you hand that off to the grown-up? Give it to me. That's allegedly what I am here. Is a grown-up. In addition to being... What baby. else is in there? Flowers. Flowers? Ooh. I'll let you open them, Mary. You're a really good flower model. Yeah. You are. Here, I, wait, wait. She wait, said wait. I am. we're done? I think there's more in this box. I know. It's kind of like your birthday, but didn't we just celebrate that? Yes. How old are you, Mary? Seven. Seven. I was six, but now I'm seven. You were How six. How does it feel being seven? I feel like I'm getting bigger. You can sit bigger. down now. Sit down now. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting bigger and I'm you are. happy. And you're oh, happy. Oh, good. Okay. Well, That's okay. a great way to be. Um, what is that? Just guess. It's a... Frog. It's a frog! Yeah, she's Great. right! Imagine that! Our kids know what frogs are! Good That's job! Right. Wow. She has, she's been studying and watching our videos. So and she I, knows know exactly. what it, I know what it is because you tell me and like Dad says I have a couple of slides here. So like, I know what it is. Yeah! She knows, she what, knows it what it is. So this actual frog is a uh, pen cup which means it's watertight and can actually be its own vase. It's small enough that it's perfect for a kid's bedside. Smell good? Does it smell good? Yes. Okay. Perfect. You like that? So when you get a happy box, basically what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a bunch of flowers just like this. You were doing a really good job showing them. Bunch of flowers just like this. This is what we call a little clutch bouquet. Um, and these little clutch of flowers is what you're going to use to design in your flower frog. Um, I wasn't paying any attention to what Jess was saying. So this is a one and a half inch flange pin cup. I bet she already said it. No, it's fine. I actually didn't. Oh, good. <laughs> no this contact. is a one and a half inch flange pin cup. Um, so basically every happy box is yeah. going to come with a different flower frog and you'll find the videos like Jess said on our YouTube playlist um, the happy box and you'll see versions 1.0 2.0 and this is 3.0 so this is the frog that comes in the happy box um, these were actually invented I think it's important to back up and tell people why we made them so we made them like right when COVID hit when people were really bored and at home and we were like how do we help them kind of cur curb some of this pent up energy and being that we have a bunch of these little guys running around we wanted to include something that would also entertain them and engage them in nature engage them in flowers give you something different to do so we came up with the happy box and yes you have flowers and yeah look at that what is that it's a just say <laughs> what it is it doesn't it's matter fun. It's, it's oh, fun. Oh, let's not make a mess on the table. Well, we so, make a mess. So we're going to recommend that you do this in an area that you can make a mess. How's that? Inside your packet that Mary handed off to us, you're going to find some uh, information on how to take care of your flowers. You're also going to find a really quick overview on how to um, <laughs> use your all the different types of flower frogs. But we show you in the video exactly how to use them. And we're actually going to show you today um, with our guest idiot. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 
situation? So in addition to what you'll find in the box, a few mm -hmm. things that you may want to um, grab up before you dig right in would be something to cut with. So we went ahead and got some scissors since we're gonna let Mary do this today. And um, I didn't wanna pull out the garden snips. And uh, some water. Yeah. Why don't we wait, Mary? The first thing we're gonna want to do is add water to our container. Okay? No. Right, so we got Ooh, even see? moms make messes. It's fine. We all do it. It's not a it's big deal. It's fine. We have to get over <laughs> things these days. So this is a good practice. <laughs> So in your packet, you'll find flour food. We already had it mixed into our water. So this is um, water that's been uh, treated with the water or the flour food so that the flowers can continue to drink up nutrients. And then once we add our uh, water into our vase, we're gonna wanna put a fresh cut before we put them in there. All right, so Mary, you gotta Mary cut the flowers. here, you gotta cut the bottoms. Um, cut this You can down. do one at a time if you want. Yeah. Yep, one at a time. Okay. Yeah. Well, All right. Now too. put a fresh little cut on there. Uh huh. And watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. There you go. Yep. Good Perfect. job, kiddo. Yep. Now you can put it right in the water. You gotta put it in the water a little bit. Yeah. Make put a it in the pile of stems right there. Oh, you're gonna yeah. make a pile okay, of stems. Okay, this is likes good. To Organization is key. <laughs> Wherever really you want it to Look go. At that. Yeah. It's so easy. A baby could do it. But she's you're not, not a baby. A baby. She's seven. Tell, tell Aunt Fluffy. A seven-year-old could do it. What do you call um her? What do you call me? Aunt Fluffy. Aunt Fluffy. Aunt Fluffy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have real creative names. Do you have any idea why? Because when um, Addie tried to say Aunt Stephanie, she accidentally said Aunt Fluffy, so we started calling her Aunt Fluffy. All of this is true. She actually listens to everything we tell her. That's amazing. No, Addie told me. Oh, Addie told you? You know, I think a lot of us are finding that we're looking for um, some different ways of uh, engaging our kiddos at home, yeah. providing some um, new education yeah, to them. The happy boxes are a great way of connecting our kids with nature, covering a little bit of science. Included in our packet... Um, can I have our packet? Oh, sure. Sorry. We're just lost in the Included in our packet, you're going to also find... Um, more information oh, about the Happy Box as well as an interactive flower project. Okay, now this isn't right something there. you have to do as you design. It can fill some content time elsewhere, guys. Uh, and we made it basic and broad enough that it kind of fits a generic um, wide variety of age groups to provide some content. And of course, there's a flower coloring sheet. Um, so if you're looking for some independent solo projects, we have you covered with a few um, different ideas in regards to flowers um, and that are seasonally appropriate, uh, included in the happy box. You're doing so good. I know. Now, I where put this are you one in. I just want everybody to know I put that one in. That one was mine. You're doing really good. I know. So, which like, ones are your favorite? I like this one, this one, and this one. Yeah. So, two Lizzie Anthes and a Marigold. <laughs> I dig it. Mary, is this a Mary gold? That's a Mary That's gold. That's why you That's picked a Mary. it. It's a Mary gold. gold. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of shines when you it do it. Shine. It does. It does. It shines just like, like gold. Your... See it? Look. look. It kind of <laughs> I know. So, Mary, like it or not, you're going back I to school like next week. I like that you. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Uh, yeah. You're very excited to go back to school and start learning some fun yeah. stuff. So sometimes if you're pushing real hard, maybe you want to hold the bottom so that you can get it in exactly where you want. Good job, kiddo. I like it because it's like that. Yeah, and it's fun to uh, so it help like you. It looks like Mickey Mouse now. It, it looks like look Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse now. It's amazing what kids see and stuff, right? Like we just see flowers, but she like sees Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Now that I look at it on the camera, looks just you know, like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> do you know what that flower is? That's a hint. Oh, okay, here, let's do charades. All right, ready? First word. Second word. Your new pet. Your new pet. Listen, I got a dragon. Yeah. What am I doing? Snapdragon. A snapdragon. Yeah. yeah. We're really good at charades. That was great. Wow. And did you just learn something new? Yeah. Do you see how easy it is? <laughs> we got this. <laughs> You got oh, a little, little makeup, makeup. Right that's there. what happens when your teacher's your mom. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, Mary, you're going back to school and you're excited. What's your What are you most excited about? Um, I'm excited about how you don't have to go to the cafeteria and. No, keep going. This is good. You don't have to go to the cafeteria. Yeah. And um, there's nothing else because everything else is not there because you have to sit. You can't sit beside the bunnies and. Yeah, but you're excited to not go to the cafeteria. Yes. Yeah, and you're probably excited to get out of this house, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she was her yes. So um, I love how you were measuring how you cut that. Kind of like oh, it snipped you in between the handles. Yeah, yeah you gotta watch the handles, handles. Apparently, are the clo the hard the. You I'll know, hold most it. You put it wherever you'd like, kiddo. Nice. Here. So, Mary, job. do you think you're gonna be able to get all these flowers in here? Well, you know what? The fun thing is, I brought a second one because I kind of knew oh, that okay. sometimes um, oh, our happy boxes flowers. even come with a few extra stems. Now, this is just one of the standard sizes that we uh, sell on our website. We carry a full line of flower frogs and pin frogs. This is one that we actually painted a fun color. So don't be afraid to customize these things. Uh, you know, we're setting up some new learning environments. Having some fresh flowers is shown to stimulate and engage us in new education um, so feel free to customize them maybe add um, names and stickers everybody deserves to have some flowers where they're learning not just the teacher all right hey I've got one here you can decorate too she's not done oh excuse me she's not done she's got a whole plan you know what else I like about our happy box? It comes with um, quite a few rubber bands, mm -hmm. this foam in the bag. Yeah. Uh, now that we're all educating and we need to have some craft supplies on hand, these are excellent to come up with some yeah. extra creative resources uh, for our kids, uh, different projects. Even you even get a you... box. Yes, you even the get box, a box. You could cut a hole in it and then you're a robot. You know, one of the really thing. cool tips that was Here, shared with me uh, was taking a box and cutting a side of it out so that you can place it in front of each kiddo as kind of a divider, as a cubby, to make really focused time for them to do their engagement. So uh, there's lots of tips out there, different resources for us parents as we try to find new ways of engaging our kids and sharing some new content. That was fun, huh? Killed it. Oh, yes, we killed it. So, um, Mary, <laughs> you like to come over and swim in the pool, don't you? Yeah. And what's your favorite thing when you swim in the pool? Go underwater. Well, I don't really go underwater because I have floaties, but um, I, I get goggles and a snorkel on, and then I like get my head in to swim around. That is not at all what I thought you were going to say your favorite thing was. What do you like to do um, when you're not actually in the pool, but you're walking around the pool? What do you do along the edge of the pool? Think about it. Not run. Is there somewhere that you check? All the time. Is there somewhere you like Where to look Where do you find? In? Oh, I go to the little. I, since I like the frogs, I go the to the filter. filters, and then I go and check if there's any froggies. But some of them are dead, so I like kill them and stab them. <laughs> and then oh, I. Oh, I shouldn't have brought this up. And then <laughs> she's a biologist. We swear. She doesn't kill animals. We just she really just likes... investigate the ones that have already mm -hmm. moved on. And yeah. other, so far, they're just frogs, right? Yeah. There was a mouse. Oh, okay. I Biology. Mouse, I had to get the mouse thrown in the river, but I had a hard time, so I went back, tried again, um, and then I threw it in the river. This went south. Let's go back to the flowers. Anyway, everything's fine here on the farm. <laughs> I know, I hear you. It's and fine. I do kind of kill frogs. Guess what was on my back deck, Mary? What? A rat. No! My husband mm -hmm. swears it was six pounds. <laughs> a rat. And he tried to, you know what he did? He let the dogs out, and guess what happened? Nothing! Because they wouldn't <laughs> catch up. Darn it. And stuck to the Hey, back. look, you can still use that little one, I bet. Oh, you. yeah, I tried, but it fell off. Ooh, I like oh, that. Oh, okay, well. Mary can do you it. You don't need me. So, um, as we all move into a uh, fun time for education, um, we know that whether you're 
um, back to school or not back to school, regardless, you still have some time with the littles that you need to occupy, right? So these heavy boxes are a really great way to give them, you know, a little bit of a science lesson. Uh, it's super interactive. Like Jess said, the whole happy box packet uh, is a really cool, um, you know, we tell, talk about the story of flowers. We talk about the science behind flowers and why they do certain things. Um, and then we're also working on a, another insert that will give you some extra tips on how to keep your children entertained, focused, and uh, give them a little bit of structure that they're probably missing. Yeah, so. you know, we're all looking, I think, for any resources for positive, engaging learning environments. We um, came into a, a really nice um, group of resources ourselves, and we're excited to be able to share them for anybody because I think it's nice to be able to find different creative ways that we can involve our kiddos and um, really stimulate them for positive growth and development and learning. I like this. This is fun. Oh, oh, I like this too. We did not even pay her to that do that. That was not a paid Mary, how much did we rehearse for this? Zero times. Zero times. Zero times. We didn't rehearse at all. We didn't even talk about what we were going to talk about. All we said was when we're talking, try not to be too cute because you don't want to distract from us. Right? Okay, you're doing a great job not being very cute. Uh, Mary, you're the queen of faces. Um, this has been really fun. Yeah, this see, has been really fun. This has been really fun. Maybe we'll have you on as another idiot. You've been a great idiot. You have. You guys continue to check out um, our YouTube channel uh, for Harmony Harvest for more developmental content and creative ways of using flowers and our uh, products that you can find at hhfshop.com. That's one. Thanks again. And check back for another Designing with an Idiot. Bye. Say bye. 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 I'm gonna keep deciding. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>